what is up you guys and of course as always welcome back to another episode of who was really better and this week not only are frank trode my wonderful friend from generation 6 joining to really go in depth analysis about these mods but we have the sound base niche pokemon really in both toxtricity and Explode. and for me or i think for most people really both Explode and Toxtricity represent something that never really came to be, and that is the sound base typing. I think with mods like Primarina, Meloetta, and like Bronze Song, we have a lot of mods that could, in theory, be sound based, yet there have only been abilities involved with them and to an extent moves, but the typing itself is more of a unique trait of the mod rather than the typing itself. However, Explode for the longest time was pretty alone in this, getting Boom Burst, being a very, very wreck house Pokemon for Generation 6. And it wasn't until Generation 8 that it actually got a fair competition. I don't necessarily think Swallow will ever represent that, but Toxtricity, yeah. For me, there is where things kind of start off, because finally we have another mom with a same type of repertoire who could damage up with like a proper slow wall breaker and turns out they actually are very much on par with one another so much so that this analysis became a lot rougher for me to really go into and it is also the reason I took help of Frank Trout, who is not only one of the most phenomenal lower tier battlers I know, but he also knows his way around these mods. So with that said, I'm gonna cover the large part of their stat output and niches and leave the deep analysis to Frank Trout to get it with wrap up. So with that said, let's hit it off with the Pokemon introduced first, and this time we record Explode. Now Explode is a weird mod, it's a normal typing for generation 3 which wasn't necessarily all that great, it really sadly wasn't, it didn't have any niches in this Pokemon's environment and it did actually take quite some time before it finally started to break through generation 6 with the introduction of Boom Burst, the hyper beam without well recharge really, it is for all sense and purposes, one of the strongest moves there is, and getting stab involved with that only makes it that much better. Explode stats might not look all that great, um, 1 or 4 in HP is probably strongest stats, a split in a 9 to 1 in spell attack and special attack. Defenses are on the lower side, 63 and 73 special events. Yeah, it's not so can hit, even though we got our... I would say a large special or I mean HP stat and the speed is it's a good for wall breaking 68 does cover a large majority of mods such as for example actually beating both Umbreon and Vaporeon in the speed here so chunky mods will very often be slower than Explode and consider like I said the damage output of Boom Burst and not anything else that is plenty uh, with abilities we have Soundproof which for the longest time was his only real ability negating of course other sound based moves which it is alright, but you rather go with Scrappy. Scrappy is basically saying, bitch, please. No, but really, Scrappy basically says, you know what, I'm a normal move, I'm gonna hit you anyway. And it does share similarities to Kangaskhan, that it does get moves like Power Up Punch to be able to boost itself, and being able to do so is actually quite nice, but usually you just slap specs on this guy and let the boombers ride, because even if they are resisted, boosted specs, which of course give them a 50% boost to your special attack moves, in contrast, 140 base plus stab, what is that now? It's 210 <laughs> base power. Yeah, it's an explosion coming your way time and time again. While 91 special attack is low, trust me when I say this, it is definitely not that low when it comes to damage output, which has formed quite an interesting niche for Explode. While it has issues, for example, it doesn't necessarily like taking high stabs, like fighting stabs against it. It definitely does pummel it and lower its HP quite fast. And of course, faster Pokemon can chip it down rather fast. It is just one of those mods that, well, it really doesn't enjoy um, getting switched in upon because this Pokemon does so much damage on the switch in that, well, let's just say it as it is, it's going ruin their day, and Explode really love doing that. And they have kept this role since Generation 6. It is just as good as it was then, because this Boom Burst Annihilation, it hasn't really been replicated properly to this generation, which is Generation 8, thanks to Toxtricity. So with that said, let's see how well Toxtricity do against Tox Toxplout. Toxplout, Explodes. <laughs> Toxplout, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Yeah, 
Find out how much Textricity really can do in contrast to what Xbox already has been doing throughout this generations. Well, Toxtricity is, I think by default, the more interesting electric type in its own right. I don't think we have a mod introduced standwise like this since, well, Electros. It is just not what electric types is usually are. Electric type are only allowed to be as bulky as the typing allows it. Same kind of goes with Poison too, though I definitely say that there's a con contradiction to that statement. But 75 in its HP is quite right, I guess. And then we have a split of 17 both defense and special defense. It's not gonna soak in hits. I don't think that's the way you're gonna use this Pokemon. However, it is actually on the slower side for electric type. But for a wall breaker, it would be considered fine. 75 speed, it's, like I said, it's fine. But where things start happening is and it's both attack and special attack it is a high special attack ish 98 which is definitely like i said it is definitely high enough but the special attack of 114 yeah this guy actually pack a punch and a natural one at that uh, it's typing electric poison allows it to resist a plethora of things like i said the bolt might not be there but it definitely has the opportunity to soak hits in a large variety of mods bug electric fairy fighting flying grass poison steel yeah, it's a good defensive typing, so much so that almost it's unfortunate this guy doesn't get a proper recovery move. Its weaknesses are very patchable. Weakness to Psychic and a very big weakness to Ground. You just see Covenite or Skarmory or Zealous Dila and you're done. There is just... it covers the large majority. That, quite frankly, is one of those very weird things where it all comes together quite naturally. But the best part about it is not its typing, though it is a very good thing about it, but it is the punk rock ability. Yes, plus and technician are abilities that Fractro will kind of touch upon, but it's definitely not why you use them. You use punk rock because it is in theory, um, well, not only is it that's like a half based soundproof ability that you actually get resisted. I think you have 50% of your damage output of some moves are well resisted here giving you an extra like boost in taking other boom bursts which is definitely phenomenal but you also get a life or boost or a 30 percent boost to all your sound based move and consider this guy like i said got well boom burst it is in theory with a specs stronger than explodes boom burst even without the stabs and that in itself is quite nasty and also get overdrive which is while weaker theoretically is um, still a better move to use it is just as strong as thunder thanks to the punk rock ability the only real issues i see toxicity has are shared with xbloud but it's definitely not as devastating um, as it is for um, toxicity contrast xbloud but that is not necessarily dealing that well with steel types i think xbloud has the means of breaking them apart same with ghost types i don't believe xbloud has to make those tough decisions of locking yourself in the move that hit ghost type you know for a fair amount of damage for example if you have a goal or as an opposing pokemon you probably don't want to go for either boom burst or um overdrive and sludge bomb of course is not going to get the damage done so yeah the coverage kind of can be rough on toxicity i think it has one of those what do you call it the five slot move pool syndrome and this move pool is definitely aren't as vastly large in xbloud but with that said the issues i mentioned here are only groundwork for what frank Trude actually are going to cover so as you guys can see the episode is quite lengthy because there's a lot of talk about to differentiate these two mods. So with that said, hit it off, Frank Throat. All right. So first things, uh, say to Chris, uh, thank you for having me around to talk about Toxtricity and Explode on your channel. I'm grateful. Uh, very grateful and let's go and jump right straight into it. Now I'm going to be talking about the similarities. Uh, between Toxtricity and Exploud. Uh, Chris probably already has explained pretty much the sets, how they work, uh, you, just the basics of it. And my opinion on it is it's pretty interesting because of course, we'll, starting with the similarities, we see that they're both, uh, they their best roles must be or are uh, wall breakers. Um, indeed, uh, either Toxtricity and Exploud, uh, both of them, uh, the main role they have is to just punch holes to the defensive uh, course of the, your opponent and, you know, with, the, with your team support, then go in and 
and uh, break the team finally but the heavy heaters of the team usually will be the toxicity and explant now to decide who's better at that particular role uh, i would say toxicity uh, to start with has more speed and has more special attack which is already just better stats and all uh, toxicity also has um, the help of its ability which gives extra power to boom burst which explodes has covered with a stab but still uh, with toxicity is uh, you can have uh, like three stabs to say it's uh, some that you can have the the overdrive which get the stab boost plus the punk rock boost and boom burst of course which is pretty similar to the stab uh, the stab boost you get um, so toxicity all around better stats uh, for the role of course um, it um, yeah yeah and it has the of course the the poison coverage which is uh, pretty pretty good uh, just to see the tiers and usage toxicity has pretty much been used in most tiers this generation it started even in OU uh, and now it's currently in RU uh, while X Plowed I pretty sure it's um, it's still in NU at the moment and it's staying there but I don't think I haven't seen it at least uh, that that much use so it still uh, functions as a more of a niche Pokemon more than a like an actual threat uh, so in general toxicity just has the upper hand uh, as a wall breaker uh, compared to explode now explode has more bulk of course with that massive uh, 100 base HP uh, 104 base HP um, and stab uh, boom burst and the only thing that explode has uh, that differentiates it from toxicity is of course it can be used in trick room because it's a bit slower not that effectively but it's an option to have there and its ability is crappy um, it's on honestly the problem with toxicity is that only has punk rock as a uh, useful ability uh, technician doesn't have that much moves to get uh, good use of it and um, plus and minus there's just not there's just not uh, you know good abilities no <laughs> so on the other side uh, explode is with scrappy that all around all around will mean that it stabs boombus will not get uh, walled by anything uh, so no immunity from ghost types you can you can hit those with that and you can just pretty much spam boombus every time you are managed to bring explode uh, on something and even its resistances will be chipped down uh, or even you know get three hit KO uh, the resistances I'm talking about because uh, boom burst explode is nothing you can ex with specs especially is nothing you can resist too much on the other side explode does have a plethora of uh, of um, coverage moves and its disposal and I'm not even kidding like this this is it feels like one of these classic uh, gen 1 normal types uh, it's got blizzard ice beam anything you can name even extra sensory fire blast flamethrower hydro pump hyper voice it's it, everything overheat even like most of the moves you can think of even shadow ball as well if you don't run scrappy for some reason you can you can run that so explode has massive coverage and as well a massive physical move pool uh, with a base 91 attack which is the same as phys as, as physical attack a special attack uh, which means that it can have more of a surprise factor in that regard you can use explode as a physical uh, as a physical Pokemon honestly uh, not even close to the <laughs> to the special set because the physical set does not have a powerful stab normal move only has a double edge which is pretty strong but it's lost return this gen um, so double edge of course with a 33% recoil I don't think I don't think people should be using that especially with uh, with the power of boom burst that's free but you have that option I explode has has the potential to way more sense than toxicity just for the coverage reason 
and it's quite good like on the physical department you even have average power punch <laughs> you can do some weird sets with that that can that can maybe work uh circle throw as well uh that can maybe work and surprise your opponent uh incredibly so uh, i'd say this this niche is more uh, useful in in league matches which the surprise factor is even more important than uh, in Smogon play. But all around, it's a possibility that Toxtricity doesn't have because Toxtricity only only has been around for one generation and it's movable. It's honestly not that great. Um, but Toxtricity is not uh, only a Specs user or a Scarf user, as a matter of fact. Uh, Toxtricity also has at his disposal things that Explode does not have, uh, which is a powerful setup move. And what move is that? Is Shift Gear. Plus one attack, plus two speed. Um, physical attack, that is. Uh, with this move, uh, allows more, uh, more possibilities to Toxtricity to just being a wall breaker. You can even become this. Uh, you can become it a, a sweeper because you get plus two speed. If you want to go to the physical route, uh, even if the move set is uh, more limited, it isn't as bad per se. You have drain punch, which is great. Fire punch, gog shot, uh, power punch as well. It has poison jab, a stab, but it's pretty much. Uh, it just stays like that, like T punch, and then throw chop, and that's pretty much it. So of course the the move pull is way more limited as we've said uh, that's one of the advantages explode has of a, of a toxicity but having plus two speed in one turn is very nice even if you are using a special set you can equip it with uh, throat spray um, and that would just help you know uh, a sweeping late game uh, with that plus two speed and outspeeding scarfers with that uh, that Exploit could never do. You will need a uh, trick room for that in reverse speed. But yeah, plus two speed is nothing to be joke is nothing to joke about. Um, it also has some niche moves that, especially in league, can surprise your opponent quite well. As is Endeavor and support move that's honestly good all around for any electric Pokemon that has it, which is Nuzzle which always guarantees uh, a paralyzation on the opponent that gets hit by it. Plus, uh, it will give you more speed control for your team. So, Toxtricity also has some weapon uh, at his disposal to, you know, uh, grab grab some some surprise, you know, to, to, get, that <laughs> to get that surprise on your opponent. Uh, it also has sword power, so you get a couple of shift gears with throat spray. Actually, you could do a lot of damage with sword power as a surprise factor too. Um, so, in the end, I'd say Toxtricity um, has is the better Pokemon. It has just better stats all around. Better speed for an offensive Pokemon is better. Set of moves and you know potential to wall break uh, with boom burst as much as Exploud. But Exploud for uh, for the lower tiers or a lower tier peak, if we talk about ga league game, I think it can have a lot of uh, potential surprise factors, more than people gives it credit for. It has some nice bulk as well, uh, better than Toxtricity, if I say so myself. Um, and, and, and honestly, it's I think it's it's uh, underused. I think people should should use it more. I hope I can see more X Cloud around because I love X Cloud. I think it's fantastic. But as a Pokemon and as a Boom Bust <laughs> Wall Breaker, I think Toxtricity uh, has the advantage. Uh, but I hope I hope the analysis was was clear enough. I do ramble a lot, but. <laughs> Uh, I hope you you enjoy it. Um, I can't wait to see the video and see what Chris and people in the comments think uh, what Pokemon is better. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for for having me, Chris. And um, I'll see you. I'll see you around, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Frank Road, for covering this. First and foremost, like I couldn't 
muster the things he says here about the surprise factor and the league viability and whatnot. I think the toxicity, much like Frank Tro says here, are maybe not the more complex mod, but what it does, it does better than Explode. And since Explode are involved, while Explode can do thousands of things, it has a defined best role. And when that best role are replicated better by another mon, you have to take that in contrast. Yeah, carrying something like Mega Cake or Double Edge or Physical with Explode, it could work. It could be real nice. And of course, being able to deal with um, Steel type properly with Focus Blast, yeah. It is definitely alright, but for every other matchup, Toxtricity has the edge. And we kinda have to get, you know, we can't cherry pick a matchup where it gets beaten, but rather every matchup it will beat. And by default, Toxtricity is vastly superior, hence by default, winning this matchup. So with that said always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Frank Trout's channel, which is definitely one of my favorite channels since forever, because like I said, he creates very good and interesting fun content, much more than every other here. And it's actually it's phenomenal that this guy isn't larger because like I said, he does a very fine work here at YouTube and I couldn't think of this community without him. I really couldn't. And with that said, have a great everyone, all right? Bye.